I wanted to talk today about Morgan Frost, who has been so good for the Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds, and he's tearing up the OHL at the moment. Now, the big thing that brings this into light, this whole topic, this discussion about this prospect, is his game from last night against the Sudbury Wolves, where Morgan Frost got himself five goals. Morgan Frost scored five goals in a game yesterday. And overall, Frost has just been so good the entire season and ever since coming back to the Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds from Team Canada at the World Juniors, he's posted himself up 17 points in his last six games. That is absolutely incredible, and Morgan Frost is now at a total of 75 points in the 38 games he's played this season in the OHL. That is good for just under two points per game. And honestly, I think that this whole tier of players and this standing of points per game is just absolutely incredible and it's totally nothing to scoff at. Frost right now is third in all OHL points this season, but his points per game at 1.97 is first by quite a bit. Obviously, though, there have been guys who have grabbed greater point-per-game numbers than Frost. McDavid, Patrick Kane, John Tavares, these guys have all gotten upwards of two-plus points per game, which is obviously really good. But Frost is not supposed to be one of those guys. Frost was drafted in the first round by the Flyers in 2017, 27th overall. He's late, ladies and gentlemen, and he wasn't supposed to be this good. Taking a look at some of the guys that were drafted ahead of Morgan Frost that are also in the OHL today. It starts off with Owen Tippett, goes off to Gabe Velarde, then Nick Suzuki, then you get yourself Robert Thomas, who he's in the NHL right now, so I'll give him props for that, and then you get Morgan Frost at 27th overall. It's just quite remarkable to me to see the fact that this guy who was taken at 27th is going on such a tear, and he got five goals yesterday in one game. In fact, going back to Morgan Frost's past 16 games, he's all the way up there at 39 points. That's including the games before the World Juniors. This is going all the way back to November 18th. Of course, if you want to talk about just the World Juniors, though, starting things off on January 9th, he's at a 17 points in 16 games streak, which is obviously incredible. He's got nine points in his last two games. So Frost has really been getting that mojo on, and honestly, it's really looking like he's got that potential to be much more than just a top nine forward, like a lot of people were probably expecting him to be going into the Philadelphia Flyers system. Frost, going into next year, is going to have so much potential and expectation that it's absolutely incredible to see, and I'm so excited for him. Like, this kid is doing such an amazing job carrying the Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds for himself. And reading some of these quotes that they've talked about in regards to Morgan Frost, take a look at the Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds coach, John Dean. Morgan Frost, over the last seven or eight games, has really put the team on his back. He's been exceptional. The biggest thing for me is the intangibles he's bringing as a leader. The way he's carrying the bench and dictating the emotion on the bench in a positive way. And the way he's calming the young guys down. He's done an incredible job growing as a leader this year. So overall, Morgan Frost is exhibiting not just the offensive capabilities, the offensive flair, the goal scoring, and the assist playmaking that is required out of a great NHL star, but the leadership qualities as well. And you saw it on Team Canada. He was really good over there. 
And it's quite weird that he wasn't playing in overtime, which I know a lot of people are probably really upset about. But, you know, he was still out there and he still got eight points. He was tied for like second or whatever in the points in the tournament. Actually, I think it was third. Denisenko and Heponyemi each got nine points. Frost was tied for third with eight. Incredible. Everybody kind of knows that Morgan Frost is on the map now. And if we did a 2017 redraft, who's to say that Morgan Frost would still go 27th? Because I think that he would probably be up there a little bit more. Sure, some of the other guys ahead of him have played NHL games. Hishir, Patrick, Pedersen, Anderson, Middlestad, Rasmussen. But... You know, some of the guys who haven't played games, some of the guys who got sent back down, there's definitely a case to be made that Morgan Frost is a more valuable asset to have than a lot of these players. So for the Philadelphia Flyers, with Jay O'Brien, German Rufsov, Carter Hart, and the like, it looks like they got themselves a really high-quality center as their most prized forward prospect. Hope you guys enjoyed this miniature plus things outro slash sign gaming and bye.